So I just put in a bunch of uh, pictures of art inspired by Burton Morris and some of the Burton Morris uh, original pop art. Um, he's going to be like uh, connected with other artists like Warhol and Lichtenstein and Keith Haring. They all had these really poppy, um, really impactful art styles. Um, Burton Morris is really colorful and cheerful and energetic when you look at his work. So we're going to try to do some of these really quickly, maybe in one class um, before we start something new next week. I thought this would be a fun one for Valentine's Day. So it doesn't have to look just like this one. This is just one example I uh, tried out, but I want to show you a different one. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So we all start out with a black background. You guys are all going to have cardstock. This is just construction paper and it's a little thinner and more flimsy than uh, your cardstock, but I didn't have cardstock at home. I have it all at school. So first step is that I lay my, uh, my black down and I'm going to choose my background color. On this one, I chose yellow for to have kind of these, um, these are really distinctive Burton Morris style where he kind of has these little star patterns cut out around the edge of his background color. So for this one, I think I'm going to do a blue background color and I'm going to start by just kind of cutting a little bit of a random shape. I'm just not even going to draw it. I'm just going to cut. And I decided that I kind of want just like, I'm just going to do like wiggles. down there it fits nicely over my back my black background and then I'm going to do the distinctive star pattern to do that it's going to be really simple and really random I'm just going to start cutting little triangles out of my paper Okay, so now it comes time to kind of choose the colors that you're going to use for your hearts. Pretty simple. Um, I really love the way the red really pops off, and it's really uh, very Valentine's day E. So there's a red I chose, and I'm probably going to use an orange and a yellow. I can cut some down some pieces of paper for you guys if, uh, if we need to share colors. Uh, to, a way to do hearts very easily is fold your little piece of paper together about how big you want your heart. You're going to start with your scissors like this. And you cut half a heart shape to the point. Unfold it. Oh, a perfect heart. I'm going to put my heart there like that. Um, and I'm going to do the same. I might want two yellows Oops, on this one. I don't even need that whole piece. So I'm going to cut that in half. Someone else could use that little piece. I'm going to fold that in long ways. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to cut. Oop. Well, you can cut both ways. You can cut from the tip of the heart too. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to have one yellow heart. <coughs> Excuse me. One yellow heart like that. And another yellow heart like this fold it open and then some more cute hearts and I'm gonna do the same with orange probably just do one maybe one bigger orange actually I have a plan for this one I'm kind of just like planning this as I go who knows I hope it looks nice for this one, I'm just going to make an outline and I'm going to cut on the inside of it. I end up with this one, which is cute, but this is the one I really wanted. Ooh, I love the way that looks. And I'm going to put yellow up here. Okay. 
So I decided how I wanted my layout. Do I want that guy? Sure. I'll put the guy too. I'm going to decide how I want it laid out. And then you're going to glue it down. So if you wanted just like plain hearts like that, you could do plain hearts like that. Okay. If you wanted to do maybe like a broken heart, which I kind of like the look of, like we saw in that um, Lost Sock Creations um, post with all the, the kids art on that one. I'm going to just cut a zigzag oops, through my heart. Bam, broken heart. I think I'm gonna glue that guy like that. Oh, sad little heart. So then I'm gonna glue them all on and I'll show you the next step. Here's a hot tip. Put your glue onto your hearts and not onto your background of your paper because after we're gonna be tracing our hearts with Sharpie. And Sharpie doesn't really like to draw over glue as nicely as it does on paper. So I recommend that you just put your glue on the back of your shape and then when you stick it down, you try not to get too much of it smeared around the paper on. The now I'm background. gonna add some white highlights because I had um, white highlight here, white highlight here, and a white highlight here on my hearts on this one. That just is showing that light is kind of um, hitting these hearts and it kind of creates like a little bit more of a 3D effect for our hearts. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. I have little scrap pieces of paper of white that I'm just working at from home. And I'm just going to kind of create little jelly bean slivers of white. Maybe that's not quite so much a jelly bean. But, um, and then I'm just going to kind of place them and see if they fit my hearts. If they don't, you can cut them. I like the way that looks. That's where the light is going to be coming on that one. For my ear, maybe for this guy, I'm going to put one like along there. So I'm going to kind of cut a shape. That might work for a light there. Just kind of up to you guys. There. So I'm going to do that for my other ones too. Okay, so I glued down my little white um, hits on my hearts here to add a little bit of light. And then I decided like I wanted to add some little triangles to the background to create some kind of interest. Uh, so it wasn't just so flat back there. And I think I like it. Next step is you're going to need your Sharpie. And um, in Burton Morris's art, he everything is a bit outlined with dark. Um, so we're going to use Sharpie in this case. And we're just going to come and trace around the edge of your colors. Now, if you get a little bit on to your heart, that's totally okay. Um, I just want you to make it look kind of even. So say, I'll show you what I mean. So say you're drawing and you accidentally like draw onto your heart like that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe if I zoom in. Whoop. So like that. Say you draw onto your red heart. You're just gonna wanna make sure that you make your line meet up with it and just make it solid. I don't want you to do really scratchy, scribbly outline on this one. I want you to take your time and try to get a solid straight line. You guys are totally capable of it. Okay, so I'm almost done. Now the very last step. Uh, you don't have to do this part, but I think it adds a whole uh, other level of like polish to your final piece. On this one, I told you I added some shadow to the edge of my hearts on the opposite side of the light, um, which is the white piece. So by doing that, it's super simple. I choose uh, the same color marker as my hearts. So here's an orange heart. I'm going to choose an orange marker. Hopefully this one works. And I'm going to just outline this side of the mark of the heart like that. 
Ooh, I think it adds a really nice level of um, completion to your piece. So there. I don't have a red marker at home because they all end up at school, but pink works just as well. And I kind of just trail it off on the top at a kind of an angle. I don't just abruptly stop. Uh, yellow. <laughs> I'm going to try a highlighter because I don't have a yellow marker right now. a yellow marker would be, look better. I'm going to go try to find one. Okay, there we have it. Two very different uh, Burton Morris inspired pop art pieces for Valentine's Day. I really like these. Guys, uh, let's see what you come up with. If you want to do a heart with wings like I did here, I'm going to show you how I did that really quick. Um, first of all, I have a red folded in half. I'm going to cut my heart out. Have a, oh, the bottom's a little bit flat. I'm just going to trim it up on the sides. Okay. And then I have just a piece of white paper. I'm actually, this is how I did it. <laughs> I laid my heart over like this. Then I took a pencil and I kind of. I actually Googled heart with wings to see some different versions. So you guys, I don't mind if we do that on the iPads if you'd like. And then I just kind of copied a wing pattern that I, I liked. So I had one that came out like that kind of, curled down. So that's a, pat a wing pattern that I liked. So I had my paper folded in half, so I get two matching wings when I cut it out. I add a little bit of length to it so I can put it behind my heart. I just cut it out. 